Capricorn, what's up, beloved? Welcome to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. I ain't talked to you guys in a while, so definitely want to check in and see what's been going on with the Capricorns. You guys, don't forget to check out blackmadonnahp.com. You'll find some fly clothes, dresses, hats for men and women there. Definitely check out the Red Crush Collection and the Black and White Luxe Collection. Definitely got some cute fly stuff there. So definitely make sure you check it out. Either way, let's go ahead, jump into your reading and see the message that Beloved has for you at this time. Beloved, what's been going on with my Capricorns? What's the message you have for the Cappies, please? What's the message you have for the Capricorns? Thank you so much. Alrighty. The Ten of Pentacles. Money, 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 money. Money. I see you've been getting to the money, Capricorn. You've been cutting off any anybody, people, places, and things, specifically some type of partnership that was keeping you from your financial abundance. I feel like you're moving forward in some type of way, Capricorn. Let's see what's up. Ooh. Ooh. I'm hearing some song, something about I want you back. It's like a 70s song, but I don't know it. One more, please. One more for Cap. Dun, 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 but I want you back. Or when someone wants you back or something. Yeah, you're not messing with people right now. I feel like you're you're on a mission. And this mission, I feel like, was something that you've been wanting to do, but it's something was holding you back. I feel like it was this person, this fool energy. You might see this person as an actual fool or something, but I feel like this person was kind of holding you back. But let's see what's up. You got the sun, the lovers, ooh wee, the eight of uh, cups, the ten of wands, the five of swords. The nine of wands, the two of wands, the three of wands, temperance, the six of cups, the seven of cups, the two of pentacles, the queen of wands, ooh, the two of cups, and the odd man out is the four of swords. So let me get this straight, okay? Because there was someone who thought that they could oh wow that they could play a player i don't know why i'm getting it like that capricorn i'm not saying you a player but maybe you got player antics maybe the way you maneuver is like player like you know like you smooth you suave that's the kind of player i'm kind of picking up like this person try to play someone who knows the game type energy right because i see there was two connections Okay, there was this third party connection and then it was the connection that they shared with you. But here's the tee hee hee. Somebody wasn't going like, oh, you want them or oh, you want to cheat or oh, you want to play games. I'm gone. You can have the house. You can have the car. You can have whatever. But I'm not sticking around while you sit here and you play games with my life, play games with the kids life. Like I'm not sitting here playing this game. I feel like somebody sacrificed. I feel like someone could have walked away from connection with little to nothing, right? Someone could have, I don't know why when I gain your energy, Capricorn, it always feels like a relationship or marriage, but it's like somebody might have left this relationship, partnership or whatever, and maybe they took the kids with them and they left with nothing but the clothes on their back or um, their car or something like that. I feel like whenever this connection came to a halt someone said forget all the material things forget everything i don't i don't know if this person was providing for you capricorn or what was going on but somebody said forget everything else i'm gone right it wasn't like i want anything from you i don't want no alimony i don't want no child support i don't want you know nothing from you i just want my peace of mind and i'm gone because this person tried to treat you horribly 
right? They try to treat you like a person who didn't know their worth or their value or like, you know, you were going to sit there and you were going to accept it and keep taking it and keep taking it. Why do I feel like this person tried to play you for the fool? Why do I feel like they were hiding messages and texts and um, DMs? And this could have been somebody that was talking to somebody online or you felt out they were talking to somebody online. This could have been a person like they had an extra phone or another phone or something like that. This is the type of person that was very strategic in their ways of cheating. You know, like they could have had a phone, but they keep their other phone in the car. Why am I here and I just told somebody business? Well, it's the game. And and to whoever this person is, I don't know why their energy is so strong trying to check me mid-reading. But whoever this person is, everybody know, baby, that when, uh, when men or women are cheating, they might get a second phone, maybe a burner phone, maybe a phone from Walmart or something like that, and keep that phone in the car. So when they're in the car or something, they ride and they talk to their girlfriend, side chick, whatever you want to call them on that phone somebody's energy was very strong like stop telling my business so this is someone who feels entitled this is someone who's aggressive this is someone who has this demeanor of it's all about me because the way mid-sentence mid this person was trying to check me and i know that sound crazy but mid-sentence it's like stop telling my business so whoever this person is just know that's the oldest trick in the game okay to hide phones and cars and different places underneath the seat like everybody knows that game like I mean sometimes that's why we ask baby let me drive your car <laughs> I'm just saying but either way somebody tried to treat you horribly okay like you were less than and I mean I mean this wasn't someone who was physically aggressive but this was someone that was definitely verbally aggressive and definitely had a way of shutting you up or silencing you, okay? So they can continue to do what they did. But one thing they weren't expecting was for you to pop back up from whatever this 10 of Wands energy was. They wasn't expecting for you to get back on your feet so quickly. See, they expected for you to stay down and, and be down and cry and, oh, baby, please come home or, oh, baby, please come back to me, right? Because maybe you've done that before. Before, oh baby I need you you know these bills are too much or baby you know I need my car fixed or whatever it was right it's like you didn't do this this time this time I felt like was your final time and you were kind of over it right like you've had enough when, when that song when a woman's fed up a man too when a man fed up he'll move around too but ain't nothing you can do about it right so here this person come riding in on their high horse or their lion or their liquid courage or, you know, their weed that they've been smoking or whatever, trying to find a way to come and talk to you to say, hey, Capricorn, you know, I'm sorry. I apologize. You know, I don't mess with them no more. You know, you the one I want, so on and so forth. But I feel like Capricorn, you finally found uh, balance in your life with them being out of the picture. I feel like you're in this place where your life is starting to make sense to you, where your life is starting to be like blissful again and happy. Like you're back in your grind mode. You're back in that mode of self love and loving yourself and getting dressed up and being beautiful or handsome every day. I feel like you're getting to a point where you're over this person. You know, you're at a point in your life where you just want to enjoy your kids your family and things like that right because you remember the day you remember the times when this person was out cheating they wouldn't bring home groceries you ask them to do little things and they will start an argument with you to go outside okay can we talk about that for a moment okay let's talk about these arguments and stuff that you guys had this person literally had somebody else hands down okay literally had another connection they were trying to get to so here they are nitpicking in the house trying to create and find any reason to leave or to not talk to you or you know something like that like finding any little thing to be on you about you know what i just heard you can always tell when someone hard is in another place by the way they treat you right 
They ain't sweet to you no more. They ain't kind to you. They ain't worried about you. You know, they not putting forth their best effort. You know, they're not checking in and see if there's anything you need or anything you want. They're not attentive to your emotions. They're not attentive to you as a person. They start being mean. They start being vindictive. They start talking to you crazy. They start treating you some type of way. And I feel like this is what was going on in your situation for a while. Like, I don't know that moment where this person switched. But I do feel like the moment they switched, you felt it and you wasn't feeling it. Like it hurt you a lot because you felt like you had did nothing wrong to this person for them to be behaving the way that they behave towards you. But it's only because they were sliding up in somebody else with this queen of wands energy, this third party. This is that other person. Okay, she, she or he's attractive. They this, they that. But this person, oh. They got a bad attitude. They cute, but they got a bad attitude. They always got their hand out. They always need something. They always got a story. This person, this queen of wands is aggressive like this person. They wear the pants in the relationship. Oh, wow. Mm, mm, mm. Sounds like karma to me. The hangman, the ten of swords, the fool. The fool and the empress came back out. Ain't that something? The five of wands. The knight of wands. And the three of pentacles. You know what's interesting to me, Capricorn? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> now, I'm finna tell this. I'm finna tell this. You know what? This person expected to find you in the same spot. In the same place you were when they left. Because I see how they come in and all oh, happily and shit like yeah i'm gonna go back over here to capricorn so on and so forth but what they don't see is since they ain't been around you have leveled up and you have put up boundaries against this bullshit that they keep bringing to you with these third parties or these family members friends whoever this third party situation is but they don't see that you don't put up boundaries and that you are stepping in your power and grace dignity and sophistication wow wow but this is what they don't see this person tried to play you like a fool and they only leveled you up ring the alarm I've been doing this too long, but I'll be damned if I see another bitch on your arm. So this person don't want to see you with nobody. That's why what I'm getting from my um from my stove going off, it's like this person doesn't want to see you with anybody else, right? So this is why they coming back in, trying to come back towards you, but they ain't bringing shit with them. What's in that knapsack? Okay, does it, in that knapsack? Can you pay a bill? Can you buy me a car, a house? Um, what are you What are you bringing in that knapsack to try and make this situation right? I'm not saying that buying material things make things okay, but you dealing with the goddamn boss says money go getting ass Capricorn. You gotta bring be bringing something than your little knapsack. And you know what I just got for that, that sack is that that's a nut sack with with they thing on it. So they might have big D energy or fat P energy. But they ain't coming with nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Oh Lord. Alright, let's see what else Capricorn needs to know about this person. That's crazy. What else does Capricorn need to know about this person? Because yeah, they feeling it. I almost forgot. Because this this is the odd man out, and now I see that they left out. And they feel and left out. That's why this four of swords is over here. You know, they've been torturing their damn self for, about what they did to you. But it's too little, too late or something. Oh, I wish I could get that song that it was, um, that I had in the beginning. Because it's like a fast paced song. But I can't hear the lyrics besides something about wanting you back. Okay. What else does Cap need to know, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, snap! So Cap, you could be dealing with the um, a Cancer 
or a Leo. Okay, with this July or July was significant. Maybe July is when you walked away from the situation, stepped away from the situation. Maybe you felt out about, found out about them in July, something like that. But you overcame whatever barriers they put in your path. You are on your path to success. That's why I was getting that money, 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 money at the beginning of the reading. You got some type of message coming in, okay? Some type of text, some type of letter. Something is coming in with these news cards. It says news of a birth or a new business idea and news is on the way. So you definitely got some type of message, email, text, DM coming your way. One is going to be about money. The other one I feel like is going to be for this person because it's a bird. You know, birds uh, fly in flocks, eagles soar alone. So this, this is someone whose mindset is like everybody else. So it tells me that this is your person, okay? Someone will gossip about all your secrets. I hope this is not what this message is about because to me, that's bringing drama in somebody's life. I don't care. When someone bitter, they're going to talk shit about you, right? When you leave them, when you've left them, when you moved on, when you, you know, you, you've leveled up. It's easy to talk about other people, and it seems like this is what this person wants to do with this great pride energy. Beware of great pride. It seems like in order for them to maintain their pride or keep their pride intact, they might be talking shit about you. But I see you ain't worried about it. You might have been kicking it, having fun in your life, being with family and friends, going out and whatnot. But uh, yeah, this person, they're going to try to find out more information about you. It's something about them talking to people about you, Captain. Capricorn. They're doing a lot of talking about you to people. I want to see what they're trying to figure out. What What is this person trying to figure out about Capricorn, please? What is they trying to figure out about Capricorn? Why are they all in Capricorn's business? What are they trying to figure out about Capricorn, please? What are they trying to figure out about Capricorn, please? They they stressed out about it too. The eight of the eight of swords, the magician. Ooh, they all in your business. There you go, Capricorn. What they want to know, Capricorn, is if you got a new connection or who like how are you making things happen for yourself the way that you're making them happen for yourself when you supposed to be in a bind when when they thought that they left your ass destitute and desolated, like. This person trying to figure out how the hell is Capricorn making it without me? <laughs> huh. Wow. Let's go ahead and get you a message. Close out this reading, Capricorn, because this person is all in your business. They just can't believe that you're doing better without them. Honestly. What does Capricorn need to know about this person, please? I'm sorry. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know, please? I keep hearing the song, but they want you back. It's something about wanting you back. Winter, take care of your knees. Oh, baby, it's cold outside. Why do I feel like Capricorn? This person is feeling, I wanted to say feeling the heat, but that's kind of irony. But they are. Like, it's going to be a cold winter for this person. Because the more colder you become, it's like, yeah, baby, Karma's on you. Take care of your own needs because I'm definitely taking care of mine. So this person might need you, uh, Cap. That's what I'm getting. This wolf in sheep clothing. They definitely a wolf, though, in sheep clothing. But they might need you come this winter. Take care of your needs. It's going to be cold without Capricorn. Ooh, Capricorn know how to make money. It's like the, the, the Capricorn just give intuitive downloads or something that other people don't get. And it'd be like new business ideas and new ventures. And Capricorn somehow just go out there and just make it happen. But it's going to be a cold winter for somebody. Okay, Cap. But either way, that's the message I have for you. I thank you so much for tapping in to BMHP's Table Etiquettes. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out Black Madonna HP. Definitely check out the collections. The collections are fire, okay? Like I said, I'm sure you'll find something you love on the website. Other than that, Capcorn, until next time, love, peace, and soul. Take care.